Well, hello there and welcome to Framework Wars, the show where you get to see the Trongate framework going head-to-head against other popular web development frameworks. I just want to remind everyone that I'm not doing this to shame, ridicule or humiliate any particular developers. On the contrary, I'm only interested in finding the best developers that I can and seeing how their technologies of choice compare against the Trongate framework. Today, we're going up against Laravel, and I'm going to be doing this tutorial uh, here, which is from Brad Traversi. Now, this is a 54-minute tutorial. I've had a look at it, and I believe that I can do the, the same app, or at least an app with the same functionality, 10 times quicker. So, here's the specs. It's going to be an API system with date created. Here's the column names here. And uh, we're going to have full CRUD functionality, a before hook. Well, um, yeah, we'll have that. We will... Now, actually, he does not even have that feature. We can take that one out. So that's basically our uh, app here. Okay, pretty straightforward. We are not going to be using any third-party libraries here. Everything that I'm going to be using is going to be free of charge. The desktop app is free. It's always going to be free. Same goes for the Trongate framework. I have XAMPP up and running here. Now, XAMPP, as I'm sure you know, uh, is free as well. You can download it for free. So, with that being said, I'm just about ready to start here. I think the camera's running. Let me just open up the Trongate desktop app. And uh, let's just start up his tutorial. There he goes. And I'm going to open up the Trongate desktop app. All right. So I'm going to create a new app. It's a new Trongate app. And I'm going to call it My API. Whatever, you know, whatever you want. I'll just click through the normal settings. I'm going to choose a location inside HT Docs. And we're going to generate our new app. Then I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to create a new module. It's going to be a new Trongate module called Product. Now it's exactly the same spec as this one here. I won't bother with an av icon, but we are going to have some properties. So we're going to have a variable character of name. There's another one called Slug. There is a decimal for price. And uh, we'll have a text area for description. And let's also have a date and time for date created. And another date and time for last updated. There we go. Now we're going to hit submit. We will not bother with a URL column. And I'll order by ID ascending, doesn't really matter. So it's writing all of the code. And there we go, our module has been created. Now, if I go in and create a new product record, you can see I've got a full admin panel here. And sure enough, I've got pop-up calendars and everything. In fact, if I make the font a reasonable size here, you can see that we've got the time here, the date, everything, it's all here. But of course, that has nothing to do with API managers, which is the task at hand. So what I'm going to do then is open up a new window. And in our new window, I'm going to head to the base URL, then API Explorer Products. And as you can see, we already have all of the endpoints that we could possibly need. The challenge is, though, that a lot of them have not been activated. For example, here's create, and it says endpoint not activated. So let's open up our new app. I'm going to go into the text editor. It's called My API. Here it is here. And I'm going to go into Modules, Products, Assets, API.json. Now, I'm going to take the, these authorization rules here, which determine that only an administrator can access the endpoint. I'm going to chuck one of these 
on the create endpoint. And while we're here, let's also do update and delete, or delete one actually. So there we go. Okay, so that has activated those endpoints. Now, when we do a create, we're going to add in a little what's called a before hook, okay? And I'll call the before hook pre-insert. I'm going to go into the products controller. I'm going to make up a little method here called pre-insert. It's going to take in some input stuff, actually an array. Then it's going to return it. But before it returns it, we're going to do a few tweaks. We're going to say input params date created equals and I'm going to get a time or a date and time that can be added into the database. So I'll say date and in here we're going to say, there we go, nice little autocomplete. And I'll do the same for last updated, okay? So last updated. So what that means is regardless of what's submitted, we're always going to have today's date added whenever we insert a record. So let's give this a try. I'm going to click here. I'll say first item, ahoy. We'll do the slug, whatever. I'll do the price. Here's a description, and doesn't really matter what we do with date created and last updated. In fact, I'll leave those out. Going to bypass authorization, submit, and there you go. The record has been added. Now let me uh, go have a look at our update now. Okay, so this is update here. I can clear the parameters, and what I'm going to do is. For our update endpoint, which is, where on earth is it? It's in front of me. Here it's here. So for the update endpoint, I'll add in a before hook here. I'll call this one pre-update, okay? So pre-update is going to be exactly the same as pre-insert. The only difference is that it's only going to change the last updated field. Okay, so if we go in here, let's say ID of one. Now it's given us all these fields. I'm just going to change the name. I'll say updated name, bypass authorization, submit, and there we go. Now if we look at the database here, you can see that we've got our My API here. I'm going to go into products. And you can see that the last updated does in fact work perfectly. So now all that remains is to delete. So I'm going to just go to delete one. I'll chuck in the ID here. I'm going to bypass authorization, submit. And as you can see, we've now deleted as well. So that's full crud. We've got token based authorization and it all works. You know, the great programmer Terry Davis once said, an idiot admires complexity, a genius admires simplicity. Well, here's Laravel and here's Tron Gate. Cheers. You know, as I talk to you right now, we are a quarter of a way to having a top 10 PHP framework. Trust me, if TronGate becomes a top 10 PHP framework, it's gonna electrify the entire industry. So head over to GitHub, give TronGate a star, and tell those bozos at PHP Fig that you disagree with their bullshit. <laughs>